Next up is a very special award presentation. I'd like to ask executive director Don Chafe and publisher Hubert Hutton to join me on stage for the inaugural Atlantic Canada Business Builder Award. Here they come. Good evening. In honor of the 20th anniversary of the Top 50 CEO Awards and Atlantic Business Magazine's historic mandate to encourage business growth across the region, we are pleased to announce our first ever Atlantic Canada Business Builder Award. This award recognizes an individual who exhibits an exceptional ongoing commitment to advancing the regional economy and promoting business growth. Our inaugural recipient is an avid mentor and generous investor, literally putting his money where his mouth is to encourage creative thinking and entrepreneurial activity. In one very modest but telling example, he once wrote a column calling on young people to think creatively about environmentally friendly communities. And then he promptly volunteered $16,000 worth of cash prizes so that students and schools could do just that. And that's just one minor example. He has made substantial investments in Horizon Maritime, Proposify, Conduct, Portal, Mara Renewables, and SkinFix. He has advised and mentored approximately two dozen young entrepreneurs. He has helped transform two struggling local companies into lucrative businesses. And he has played a significant role in establishing the Creative Destruction Lab and was instrumental in the region's success with the Ocean Supercluster Initiative. His longtime colleague, close friend, confidant, Brendan Paddock had this to say. Despite all the public acknowledgments and accolades for his many business successes and achievements, I will always admire and respect John for the countless hours and tireless efforts he commits to giving back to the community. He is passionate about paying it forward, always seizing the opportunity to share his success, experience, and resources to positively impact and change the destiny of a promising, rising soul who just needs a cheerleader in his or her camp. He has the innate ability to always be fair and respectful, to never forget where he comes from, and to always keep it real. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to present the Atlantic Canada Business Builder Award to a member of the World President's Organization, Officer of the Order of Canada, Entrepreneurial Wonderkind, the Chairman and President of Clearwater Fine Foods, and Atlantic Business Magazine's resident devil's advocate, John Risley. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. So there is always a story uh, behind an award. There are actually two stories behind this award. The first is I'm the only guy uh, in the room that's older than Hubert, so I get an award for that. Um, uh, the real award is because I, I called Don and Hubert one day and said, look, you know, it's been a long time since I started uh, writing for the magazine, and I'd like, to, I'd like you to think about paying me. And uh, so uh, the response I got was, well, th that would be great. We'd be happy to pay you if you can guarantee somebody will actually read what it is you write. So we ended up uh, uh, settling on, uh, on this award, for which I'm obviously profoundly uh, grateful. And uh, <clears throat> I do what I do because I enjoy it. Um, and there are two messages I want to leave uh, with you tonight. And, you know, look, I'm old enough, I, I don't really care whether you like the messages or whether you don't. Uh, the messages are, are designed to uh, ask you to think about, uh, about these two points. First is the future of this region um, is not really resident in this room, and that's not meant to be uh, disrespectful. 
um, it's meant to be constructive and helpful. And I say that because uh, we are well on our way as a region to becoming irrelevant. Um, <coughs> the world is changing faster and faster, uh, and things are happening at a pace that, frankly, Atlantic Canadians uh, uh, have difficulty coping with and understanding and, and grappling. And as a business community, we have a responsibility. And that responsibility is to stop feeding on ourselves. It starts with understanding uh, that uh, as, as a Nova Scotia, as a Prince Edward Island, as a New Brunswick, and as a Newfoundland and Labrador, individually, we have no hope. Our only hope is as a region. <laughs> and And this is, this is not a responsibility that we can rely uh, solely on our politicians to take up. Uh, it's a responsibility, as I say, that, that begins with the business community. Who should understand this? <laughs> what can we do as, a, as, a, as business folks to, to help the region sort of understand how to coalesce and move forward and become more competitive? Um, it's by understanding that businesses that do business in our, in our region with each other is, is not the way forward. It's not to say that there's anything wrong with any of that. It's just not our future. Our future is in building businesses here that can do business around the world and are developing competitive products and services that can be sold around the world. And we need to get behind these businesses. We need to support them financially. We need to support them with uh, community recognition. We need to support them with mentorship. We need to find absolutely anything we can do to push these businesses forward, because uh, that is our future. So <clears throat> on that note, I don't want to end saying I'm negative about the region, quite the contrary. I'm, I'm actually quite positive. I think this ocean cluster initiative is, is if it's going to do anything, is going to force collaboration amongst the, amongst, uh, the provinces and the businesses uh, in the region. And I, and I think it's going to demonstrate to people that we can really do some really neat uh, things here in the region. So thank you once again, Hubert Don, for this award. I speak <coughs> for all of those who, who make me look good. Uh, I'm a pretty humble guy, and I have good, I've learned over, over, over 70 years that I have every reason to be humble, so thank you very much. We need to take a picture over here.